Kaylin, um, as you know, I'm usually the over-the-top guy that over-embellishes everything. And people usually know me as the go big or go home kind of guy. I've never been the guy that takes the simple route, the easy route. If it's going to be planning a church event, it's going to be the loudest, brightest. It's going to be the one that's the most fun yet. If it's a shredded truck, I'm going to follow it. I'm going to scream about it for 20 minutes, and then I'm going to get out of my car and run around it. If it's a proposal, I fly you out to Colorado just to pop the question. But sometimes I've realized that this can unintentionally draw attention away from the subject and onto myself. Kaylin, you don't need embellishment or fancy words, which is why I want to write simple vows to you. Kaylin, I love you because you're my best friend. And I love you because you really love God. You're just awesome. So here's the truest and most down-to-earth vows to you. I vow to hold you close when you're cold. I vow to protect you. I vow to be slow to anger. I vow to love God. I vow to read his word. I vow to sacrifice every day. I vow to date you for life. I vow to laugh when it's hard. I vow to cry when life calls for it. I vow to worship. I vow to stay loyal and run from temptation. I vow to lead us. I vow to listen. I vow to be humble and I vow to repent when I sin. I vow to love you every day God gives us here in this world. And I wanna vow to you, God, vows to people are easily broken but today I make an unshakable vow to you I build an altar to you Jesus today and this marriage marks a union of an all powerful God and his church just as your kingdom is unshakable so too will this marriage I pray that chains from before and chains to come will be shattered by this union. I vow to desperately pursue the heart of my wife just as you pursue me. And I vow to hold you closer than her till the day I die. yesterday when we were leading worship in youth group and I didn't like you because of how conceited I thought you were. (laughs) (laughs) 
Little did I know in that moment that God was closing my eyes to you so that he could open them up in his timing. Ever since I was a little girl, I'd pray to God and say, Jesus, please don't make me wait until I'm old to get married. I don't want to wait forever to find my husband. But never did I actually think that he would take me so seriously. (laughs) You're absolutely everything I could have ever dreamed for, plus more. I've never been more comfortable around another human being before until I met you. You've made it so easy for me to be open and honest with you, but most of all, to fully and completely be myself, no matter how weird it is. So you are loving, kind, compassionate, wise, fun, adventurous, a strong leader, sensitive to the Holy Spirit, and in my opinion, the perfect definition of a man. I so love and appreciate how you still to this day will make an effort to walk around the car and open the door for me. You've made me feel so loved and adored, and one day when we decide to expand our family, I can't wait to see that love and adoration grow and extend even more. So, I vow to build you up, to encourage you on a regular basis, I will support you in every decision you make, and I will pray for you every single day of our lives. I will always tell you the truth and communicate fully and fearlessly with you. No matter what comes our way, I will stay faithful to you and follow your leadership. So as your wife, I promise to take care of you, submit to your decisions, support you with everything that I have, and to love you more and more every day. And now as you, Kaylin, and you, Andrew, have openly declared your wish to be united in marriage, and in the presence of God and before these witnesses have pledged love and fidelity each to the other, and have confirmed the same by each giving and receiving a ring, I pronounce that you are husband and wife, and those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Andrew, would you like to kiss? Okay. You.